From Daily Forex, this is Chris. Taking a look at the euro and the pound, you can see the euro has pulled back just a bit during a very thin Monday session as it was Labor Day in the United States. I would not read too much into this candlestick other than the fact that a lot of traders weren't there. A couple of hammers in the previous session tells me that there is still a lot of buying pressure underneath, so I'm not overly concerned about the uptrend, and I would anticipate another return towards the 1.20 level. However, if we break down below this uptrend line, then... The next stop will be 117, where I expect to see a lot of support. British pound, I think 130 is your short-term floor, if you will, in the market. You could make an argument for some attempt at a trend line there. Not a big fan of that trend line. I don't think it's that significant, but at the end of the day, um, it looks like we are finding buyers. I'm looking for bounces on short-term charts to take advantage of, as we should go looking towards... The 1.35 level yet again, a lot of the gap and then the push lower was due to the Brexit headlines over the weekend, suggesting that there was going to be a no deal Brexit. I don't think anybody really cares at this point. Um, I anticipate that this is going to continue to be more about the Federal Reserve. The British pound will probably underperform other currencies against the greenback. That much I do agree with, but I'm not a seller.